What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video. It's your boy, Hiatus James. I'm back in this piece, man. Um, and we're just continuing. So the last video that we just did was a reaction to Up Church's um, Bait It track to uh, Screwface John Cargo Head. Um, and now we're back to react to Screwface's, Screwface John's uh, react or response which is called victim quotes um so i can kind of already see where this is going man um i think he's probably gonna take the eminem vibe on this one and probably flip everything that upchurch said in the first one on this one that's kind of the vibe i mean victim quotes is a uh, eh, it's a dead getaway giveaway but um we're definitely gonna check it out man definitely see what bars are being given um what's going on in this track of course uh, this beef between the two just keeps getting worse man you know uh whether it's from F smj nation <laughs> sfj nation make sure i say that correctly um whether it's between them and up churches uh creek squad like it's like oil and water, man. These two just don't mesh, man. It don't matter what you what you do. The two sides do not mesh, man. Um, and of course, it just keeps going, keeps going. From the last time we had the diss track up until now, it's just continued to go. And now we are fastly back to a round three. Um, so we're going to check out vic uh, Victim Quotes, man. And this is Post. This is post Screwface John saying he is the best YouTube rapper, bro. Hands down, he's the best. So we're looking for those top notch best bars in this track, man. He already put it out there. It's the same. Look, I'm giving him the same energy that I gave Dax when Dax was out there saying, this is the best that you're ever going to get. Like, <laughs> He put himself out there, but we gonna see, man. Um, it's definitely, uh, I'm definitely expecting bars, man. One thing that we know, Trueface definitely has um, a lyric scheme, uh, wordplay, metaphors. He definitely comes with it, man. Like, you can say a lot of things about him, but one thing that you can't say is that he can't rap. Like, you can't say that he does that he can't, that he doesn't know his way around bars because you'll be fabricating. That, that's crazy. But we are going to get into it, man. Check it out. See what he is spitting. See what's going down. What is his response? What angle is he coming at in this diss track, man? It is getting heated out here. Um, but we're going to check it out, man. So if this is the first time of you tuning in, please wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I give my reaction. Unless he says something crazy, we're going to have to pause it. Um, but let's get into it, man. <sighs> Victim quotes. Let's go. I'ma slow it down on them. So they can really hear the words. <laughs> For the third time, I'ma off this cat with his awful raps You had a lot of rounds by my booty hole, so let's start with that In every diss track that you made, you always talking cracks Not hating on your infatuation, baby, just talking facts Guard your whack, three diss tracks, bitch, I want all of that Cause all that trash that you keep on spitting wouldn't even call it rap At this point, I think you would stand the way you want my sack So here's my autograph, I wrote it on your brothers You wanna know how I know that you know that you didn't win Cause you wanted a third round and try to diss me again My friend, he Wait a minute. Okay. That, uh, wow. That's, that's big balls. <laughs> um, so, so again, as you guys can see, man, like, he is not taking this laying down, bro, when it comes to these bars. Um, and now, ah, oh, man, it's crazy how he's trying to flip that. So, uh, basically what he's saying in this track is you want to know how you know that you didn't win the first one is because you came at me with a third one. Ah, man, I feel you, but bruh, you was baiting him on the low to get to this point. It's a good bar. Don't get me wrong. It is a hell of a good bar. Um, but let's not act like 
we got here just by happenstance, bro. We got here because you were jabbing because you were not feeling the fact that people were saying that you lost to up church so that's how we got here but i love the bar though man i definitely love the cinnamon on the bar and the flip let's get it Yo brothers you want to know how i know that you know that you didn't win because you wanted a third round and try to diss me again my friend he's been lying ryan ain't think that he hit he on that bulligan and asking for mulligans because he missed he said he won because he got a million views that's out of pocket like 1.6 million subs ain't the reason he got it but his last diss did 1.1 my nigga stop it that means about half a million subs ain't even watching you always talking accolades Okay, so now we hitting below the belt. All right, so Upchurch went at the ego, so he's snapping back, and he's saying, look, you got 1.6 million subs, and you got about 1.1 views on a track, so there's about 500 or so that didn't even check in. I feel them. I feel them. Unfortunately, we can't even put that on up church be set and screw knows this man it's a witty play on bars i again so far i'm digging his bars i'm digging his jabs um but you know come on screw you know that this youtube algorithm is trash boy <laughs> it is trash um plus depending on what um you're actually putting out kind of teeters to if somebody's gonna click on it and watch it or not so maybe your fans may just like the fact that you do freestyle so anytime you do freestyles they hop on it um some may like when you sing on a track so they hop on it when it, like you're not gonna your fans aren't gonna always watch everything you put out so i feel them but it can be debunked like it can be debunked but it's a dope ass bar like hit the man where it hurts Hit him, hit him, hit him low. Hit him with the low blow uh, when you're coming at it. So, like, I feel you. I feel you. However, that algorithm is trash, bro. So it ain't helping your, your point. But I get you. Good bars so far. And he got it, but his last is did 1.1. My nigga, stop it. That means about half a million subs ain't even watching. You always talking accolades, but still can't fuck with me. You got a crush on me. I think Ryan done fell in love with me. The billboard hits <laughs> is a dud. You see, if somehow you always end up in the mud with me, now I never get out of prison. Mm, I like it. I like it. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. So now we're taking shots. At the fact that he is a he's on billboards he's on charts like why are you having this conversation with me why 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 do I get your your blood boiling like I fit okay okay that was a legitimate uh, jab and I love how he spent it because Ryan's of course from Tennessee uh, backwoods so mud in the mud with me it's a it's a shout out to the fact of him being you know, Backwoods is a shout out to um, how they put down YouTube rappers. And it's a shot to why are you on my level? I get it. I get it. It's threefold. But dope bar so far, man. So far, he, he is hitting in this. Two of them so far, they're good bars. But we we know the real. Um, but I, I definitely love this bar. That bar where he talked about him being in the mud with him that's some real that's that's a real heat let's go i think ryan and fell in love with me the billboard hits is a dud you see if somehow you always end up in the mud with me now i never get out of prison they tripping look how i did them view slipping bitch i can't kill you more than the algorithm on a mission i'ma hit them creeping with the 40 stalking catch him home alone someone take the mic from macaulay coke and jr talking because i got Ooh, a ring home alone okay so he hit you with the sister act, so you hit him with the Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin, oh, all that, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, we taking it up a notch, all right? Um, so far, so far, Shrew is flipping everything around. And I apologize, guys, I'm stopping because I'm trying to catch these bars. Like, it's important for us not to miss what is being said and how the how it's going back and forth man so we can't get once it's said and done this is it there is no there is no take backs um but i love the macaulay Culkin line 
Um, that, okay, that hit. That definitely hit. That was a slap back for that whoopee line and the sister act and the freight of church. I get you. Let's go. Algorithm on a mission, I'ma hit him Creeping with the 40 stalking, catch him home alone Someone take the mic from Macaulay Culkin JR talking cause I got a ring With just my own words, rookie thought I was Whoopi till he got speared Ooh, by Goldberg And all that disliking and fan spamming Just won't work, try it but your bias Can't hide that this made your soul hurt a Victim quotes in the comments can never Seal the truth, how am I killing church But he the one that looked like Dylan Rue I came no. up on it <laughs> Oh man, you hate to see it. <laughs> Did this man say that he that they say I'm killing church, but he's the one that looks like Dylan Rue? Oh my gosh. Look, screw, I knew you was petty, but goddamn, bruh. You ain't have to go that far, bruh. You did not have to go that far. <sighs> that Dylan line is gonna be hard to come back from. That that was a low blow. I, that was that was for him saying that your bars were 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 beginner lines, wasn't it? Oh man, that's a tough one. I don't know. That is by far, at least up until this point, is the hardest bar that he's dropped so far. I like how he flipped the Whoopi Goldberg uh, with the Goldberg and the spear. I love that. But this Dylan line, uh, sheesh, that was a good playback. Don't work, try it, but your bias can't hide that this made your soul hurt. Victim quotes in the comments can never seal the truth. How am I killing church? But he the one that looked like Dylan Rue. I came up on the M's and the J's. That shit was timeless. Now niggas ain't even rhyming. They just did awards for trying. I am the thorn in your side. Funny that this time you more like an ex bitch who can't quit hitting my line. But fine, I guess you need it. No reason to leave him breathing. Lyrically, the gap between as big as the gap in your teeth. This ain't no secret. You gon' pull a muscle the way that you reach. And I know that your Heart weeping because you know that we know mm. either we know that your squad weakened from watching Yo. the car bleeding watch okay. your Okay, for I I know that their heart what did he say? I know that their heart cause they're seeing their God bleeding. Like that's a that's a three hundred verse. Like that if you guys ever seen the movie three hundred when he threw the spear and showed them that their God bleeds, oh my god, okay. Or I mean same thing with Superman, bro. like one of those, either one, like, okay, okay, Shrew is not playing around. His metaphors are good, like, you just, you gotta catch him and what he's saying, but the metaphors are good, and he's twit, he's basically pulling an Eminem, and that he's using everything that Upchurch threw out on his diss track, throwing it right back at him, but flipping it. Okay, I mean, I, I fucks with it. Let's get it. Your heart weeping cause you know that we not even we know that your squad weakened from watching they God bleeding watch your soul start leaping this the part you start grief back Ooh. back we ain't afraid to say you whack jack some niggas ain't afraid of the dislikes or the backlash stick the harmonies and the comedy Mr. Jack Black where smack act J Black gonna tell the fact facts the nation ain't Damn. stupid you bout to fail in your Jack paper Black. you use your sub counts to tip the scales in your favor not a hater see I hate the game not the player but artist the artist I know I hurt you more than you care to say Send your fans in ways that don't bother me Honestly, real rap niggas hear quality over quantity In battle rap, we know a biased crowd can be fake Until we see the footage and catch a nigga dying on tape Dropping comments on anyone who would diss me Bitch, you could have just said that you miss me. You might be one of the wackest niggas in history. Your infatuation against me, I pity that shit's a mystery. It's funny how you ask random people that's on the streets about your rap songs, and most of them think that they're weak. But on your side, they got you thinking that you deep. I'm about to out Pacino niggas that got you thinking you heat. Nice with the guitar, just not nice with the B dog. Nice with the yeehaw, just not nice with V bars. This is my house, I got the lease and the key card. You talk about my nose, but that's Okay, I like the way that he's running this. Look, however you feel about True Face, man, you got to give him props for how he's how he's meticulously uh, handling this track. Like he's handling this track pretty tough. Um, it's not because remember. 
The first time that we went around, he shot himself in the foot and there was really no recovery from what that first track was. But the way that he's handling himself, he like, yeah, you're you're good with the yeehaw, but not really with D bars like oh man like come on you're gonna take everything about this man and try to bend it to throw it back that's dope rap bu uh battle logic like he is he is and it's crazy right because i thought that in this track that he was gonna snap like he was just gonna go in and like ah give you everything it's subtleties to the way that he's handling this. They are literally playing a mind trick because Up Church's track was definitely a bait, playing at, and coming at his ego to get up, uh, get Screw out. And now Screw is like flipping everything and like at the same time trying to like trying to uh, dust them off. Like that's crazy, man. I like the blo the bars so far though, man. It's definitely hitting. Let's get it. Bars. This is my house. I got the lease bars. and the key car. You talk about my nose, but that sniffer can snort a ski lodge. Big bitch, mess around and turn me to Ooh. a big fish. He always chew that dipshit. Perfect, cause he a dipshit. Rip shit, that shit spitting like a sick with a big clip. He mad that <laughs> I got the hits that unload, reload, Come click, click. The next one really laughing at that shit that you wrote. And under all the hate comments, we type in victim quotes. Cause this is like David and Goliath, don't you know? But I just found a slingshot and a stone, bitch. Yeah, I wonder how they gonna try flipping this one. <laughs> Good luck. Face. All right, we gonna stop it right there, man. Um, so yeah, man, let's get into this, man. Screw face, um, victim quotes, man. I like you can't even deny what he did in this track man you guys seen it for yourselves man he flipped everything that up church threw at him in that first that's why going first is so detrimental because not only can the person that you throw the diss at if you don't body them like out out the gate if you if you give them a bait track and they're able to listen to your bait track dig up some information on you their bet like their first track is always gonna hit a little bit harder because they can use both at the same time and that's exactly what we've seen in this man um like i said even with the up church nobody was really snapping snapping um it was very chill and very meticulous the way that they're both handling this um but at the same time there it's hard to come back from that dylan roof line like I'm not even gonna hold you. Like Upchurch says some things that was def that Sister Act was dope. Um, however, the Macaulay Calkin line came back. Like they they were going toe to toe, but that Dylan Roof line was definitely that was some shit. I <laughs> um, right now I I man, jeez. Right now I gotta say that um, just just due to the way that it's being handled um and the fact that nobody really went out of the way to just end anyone but here's the other side to this right so not only is uh screw face dropping this disc twisting everything that up church said in the first one but he's giving ammunition to those that follow him to keep the other uh the other opponents fans away from his comments away from his track by putting victim quotes anytime they say anything like it's it's a it's a mind game that they're playing right now but i gotta give it up to uh screw he definitely did his thing in this track um it is what it is man you hate to see it <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say you hate to see it bro but that dylan roof line was tough that's hard to come back from um now I do. I am aware that Up Church dropped another track in response to this. Now, according to what uh, Screw said, this is like the only one he's doing because it's getting boring. Blah blah blah. I I'm pretty sure, depending on how that other track is, he's gonna get off of his blessed assurance and respond to it. I'm pretty sure. But this was definitely dope, man. Definitely salute to uh, Screwface John. 
on this track, man. If you're going to respond, this is the way you do it, man. Um, this is, honestly, I'm not even gonna hold you guys. This is what I was expecting from Eminem back when him and um, MGK were going head to head. I was expecting for M to come that way, but the problem was is that MGK beat him to his flow style before he could get there by basically emulating everything that he would have done what we've seen in this track which is use all of his information against him so you don't really have you know where do you go from here type shit so um this was definitely dope man for um for the diss track for a response um with the hashtag of victim quotes man like y'all playing a scary game man y'all literally gonna have people that don't know each other fighting in the streets over their artists like that that shit is crazy but um <laughs> but i definitely thought that it was dope man um and like i said i gotta give the nod to uh screw in this round round three uh that dylan roof line is tough to come back from and the fact that he meticulously went through and kind of upstaged everything that upchurch said in his and it was only due to the fact that he went second because going second it's, it's different, man. Um, and if you've ever done any type of rap or battle rap or anything like that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, being able to hear what your opponent is going to throw at you first really allows for you to, you know, set the stage on what you're going to say. Um, now, the beat was, was um, it was definitely a good beat uh, that he dropped. And uh, he definitely had the bars on tap, man. He was not playing. Um, in this track whatsoever. So definitely salute to Screw Man. And uh, we, this still continues, man. It's not over yet. But definitely, uh, I have to say that he took this one, man. He took he took round three. Uh, definitely by by that. Ugh. Ugh. That was crazy. But anyways, man, we're gonna keep this moving. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna go through this, man. So definitely look out for the Upchurch response to this track. And then, like I said, if in that time frame, he drops, Screw drops his, we're gonna get on that. And we're gonna cover this whole thing, man. And we're gonna put this to rest, finally. Final. Um, and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. But this was definitely dope, man. Um, especially for the fans, man. You guys are the real MVPs because you get to see your artists go at it and drop their bars just filter out all of the extra noise and all that other nonsense. Um, it's about the bars, man. And he definitely dropped bars in this track, man. So far, it's been dope for me. It's not as crazy as the first time that you guys were snapping on each other. But it still gives that same feeling of, wow, these niggas really going at it type. Ugh. It, it is what it is. But we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video is coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.